Hello, 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 it's Attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago, as usual, and it won't stop. I keep getting more material from the contentious attorney hearings. This this uh, this surfaced, and a bunch of people sent it to me. Uh, Allison sent it to me, and and was the was the big push behind this one. But we've got Lily, we've got Judge Manning, we've got the contentious attorney. It's good stuff. Let's do it, shall we? Hi, this is Lily Bristow. Welcome to Law Talk with Mike. judge that told you to stay away so obviously you don't understand staying away i do understand your honor uh, this was for my wife and i to sell the house so we can get out of debt we understood during one of my meetings the one during one of when i went by to get my stuff i couldn't get my stuff which first time you went by four or five times your honor the first the first night when i got out of when i got out of jail the bag that I had previously had set at the car because originally I was supposed to leave the property. Sir, I'm asking, she, when did you have the locks changed? That's what oh, I want to hear right now. Okay, it was, it wasn't on May 6th. It was, it was in, uh, it was like that. It was, it was in April. It was a few days. It was after, uh, she moved out. It was like April. When I went by with a sheriff, it was, uh, I mean, an officer, it was April. I can't remember the day that we, the day that the realtor and I originally went by there and did the video shoot of the home and the two officers were with us and she wasn't there. It was on that date. So I think it, it may have been either the 22nd or the 23rd. And the only intent was for that was for the her. Wait a minute, hold on. To see All right. For those who aren't familiar, what's going on here is there's a TPO. The wife is using it to gain advantage in divorce. There's no two ways about it. We, I've been through all of it. I'm just giving you a little background. And, uh, you know, it ultimately shakes out. But but the husband here, Lily's client, just just does himself no favors whatsoever. The 22nd, the of, the, the 22nd of the 23rd. Well, she moved, she moved out. We had a hearing that was canceled on the 22nd of April. The, I was continued. Moved out on the 21st. So the realtor and I met up with the officers there, uh, I think the day after our original hearing, which was canceled. No, nope, continued. Only, the only, it's continued. Uh, well, it wasn't well, continued, canceled. Continued, continued. I'm sorry, continued. The only reason for this zero, Tanya and I, we were in some debt. We were about to lose the house. We figured we could hurt, but I can say we, I spoke with her upon one of those, that visit when I went by to get some of my stuff. We had an agreement even before all of this happened that we may have to sell that we're going to have to sell the house to get out of debt. This was something that would help her as well as myself. That was the only intention. We can get out of debt, whether we're together or not, we can start of off course. on a clean slate. I didn't anticipate all of this stuff happening. This would help her. She has a car. I spoke with a, with a collection agency that was about to take her car from her. She owes $22,000 on it. I don't care I don't about want, that. I don't care I what I she owes. No, no, stop. Stop. I did it to help. Stop, 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 stop. I didn't mean any intention. Stop, 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 stop. You're just not going to stop talking, are you? I'm, I'm done. And this I'm is about you disregarding two court orders. I'm not disregarding. Because it, I, I, you I, did I'm, because you were supposed to go one time. The protective order said she had sole and exclusive use. It did not give you any authority to go back over there at any point in time. None. Zero. Zip. I was only trying to help us. Where did you have... I actually believe that, but this guy doesn't understand. You can't violate the order. It, it, it's true. She's she's running everything into the ground, basically in an attempt to steal it from him. She doesn't realize that, given their their equity position, it's, there's nothing to steal. But th that doesn't matter. It's she's irrational. So what he's trying to do, his heart's in the right place, but he, he's doing it wrong, and he's been told. Oh, it's frustrating. I'd leave a court to sell the house. It's not sold yet, Yon. I just when I just, did you it, have just, leave of court to put it up on the market? We've 
my, my attorney did file an emergency <laughs> motion to sell or to put it up for sale. Have that been heard? Uh, no, ma'am. And I felt. So you got it listed on the real estate market without a leave of court. Well, it's on. It's unlisted now. I told. I told him to take it off the market. You better, cause I, I forget which judge the divorce is scheduled in front of, but they ain't gonna like it either. Okay. You're right. So I mean, it's a, as as of. You know the uh, whole beg for forgiveness instead of ask permission. That's not true when it comes to the law. As as of as of uh Saturday, it's it's off the market. But it was only done. To try I, forget to help the, I forget who the divorce is assigned to. Judge, who is, is it Judge Williams? Oh, I wish it was Judge Williams. Whoever it is. Judge, you, you know, I'm here to beg forgiveness instead of ask permission. Ain't none of them going to like that. Oh, my only intention was to help us. That's all. Whether we're together or not. I, I, I didn't mean any harm to her in any way, shape, or form. And, Your Honor, uh, this man's been going back and forth to that house. He was there to harass her and he's been bullying not. his I way throughout this not. whole proceeding. He has been bullying his way to do what he wants to do. So I want he's to know her think, completely. I think that she was still there. There were some dates after April 22nd when she was still there. He was there. She okay. was present. Your In fact, she had contacted the police on both dates, the 22nd and 25th. And I advised her not to come around the house because I knew he was there. Exactly. On the twenty fifth, so, so I told her to stay with, stay where okay. she was. Don't come to the house because it could be a dangerous situation. And he then the, the locks were changed then. So it was changed on the twenty fifth. In fact, we have a video where he had Charles Martin, his realtor from Mark Spain, going into the house. So it most likely probably been on the twenty fifth. And I'll be gladly to show the vi video to the court if the court wants to take a look at that. When um, the Did gentleman you know that the blocks were changed before Friday? No. No, no we had no idea, Your Honor. Oh, Your Honor. She went over there Friday after the hearing, and that's when we discovered that the uh, signs were put up and that the locks were changed. And he changed the... Okay, I've got a whole playlist on this now with uh, three other hearings and also an interview with Lily. Uh, I, I didn't intend to do any of that, but the, the, the hearings just keep coming. And, and these two, are, these two are quite the tag team. <laughs> Front door locks, the back door locks. He changed the garage, um, uh, code. So she programmed it, garage, reprogrammed Allison. that. And the ring doorbell was, uh, reprogrammed for the neighbor's Wi-Fi. Yep. And he did all of the reprogramming and the changing of the locks after April the 22nd, when the court, even though the case was continued, the and judge she just continued it. It says everything still remained in full. Uh, exactly. And she, had, she advised him of that. And he even on record said that he was told not to be there by his attorney. God bless her. And he appeared anyway. He doesn't want to listen to what anybody says. Happy birthday, ladybug. <laughs> Well, Ms. Oh, Bristow, yeah. go ahead. I guess maybe you want to ask your client some questions because uh, see what see what you can do to do something because th there was no reason. Nobody stopped him from talking. You talked to him. He had several times to tell you he had changed those laws. No, no, no. Sorry, Judge. That was not... I was not saying he didn't get a chance to talk. I was just letting... No, I mean, he it. had plenty of times to tell you. And he did tell me on Friday. During the hearing... During well, the hearing. Right after, yeah, right after. So after everybody going home, it's when he decides to say, oh, yeah. And he didn't think to email us in, in reference to all this once he. Well, I, that's I not mean, my client. That's on Friday. Me. We ended the hearing at the end of Friday. I had worked. Oh, look at Lily trying to throw herself on her sword uh, for a client here. That's cute to nine hour available day and i was not i did not email you guys on friday i felt that it was something i could email on monday but i didn't know that tanya sullivan was going to go back to the residence on friday after she hadn't been there for several weeks it, it should not even friday. been 
it should not even been a concern whether you knew she was coming back Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. What's the concern? The issue was, was she had exclusive possession of that property. I when you became aware of that, you could have sent letting me know that email. we weren't going to be told whether or not she was going to live there. That that but that, that has, has no that, that has no that has no issue. There. And there was no there was no know what we're fighting. And, 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 I told and, and, you guys that I was told on Friday I was going to email on Monday. So I don't know why we're all fighting. We, we're 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 simply trying to say we're, we're not we're just not nobody, nobody wants to hear from with you right you. now. Mr. Sullivan. I'm fighting with you, Lillian. The house just, needs to be sold. That, nobody wants to, to hear from you right now, Sullivan. Mr. Sullivan. I'm not fighting with you, Lily. Yeah, we're not fighting with you. I'm just you know, just telling you from our position in reference to, you know, the events that took place. And the events that took place is that the locks were changed. We weren't made aware of it. My client was returning back to the home and that became a real issue. And, and I we, weren't, we, weren't, we weren't notified. We weren't, nobody told us anything. And we never told you that she was never coming back to the property. So I don't know where we no, where that we're is going. Not, with I don't, I don't, I don't think that that's, this. that's no, not true. what I was saying. I was saying okay. it's on me for not emailing your office on Friday. I should have emailed your office on Friday. That can't be put on my client. I should have emailed you on Friday. It was my hope to email you on Monday. I did not realize that this would blow up over the day after the hearing or or the night of the hearing. That is on me. That cannot be put on my client. My client does admit that he had the locks changed at the advice of the realtor. Was that wrong? Yes. He should not have done that. He understands now. He literally cannot go to the home. And certainly but don't see, do my it issue, twice. Lily, is that you he has he's defying all court orders and he even defied your advice when he appeared at the April the 22nd hearing. You told him not to show up. He even he told the judge, he told, he told the judge, my attorney told me not to be here, but I felt like I needed to be in here anyway. He is not obeying or, or, or following anyone's instructions. And most of all, a court of law, three judges have told him after the April the 22nd, when that judge told him not to go back to the home, that she was going to continue, that it was still in place. She went through the whole little soliloquy with him. He still went back over there and then he changed the locks. He has, he, and, the, and I think what's getting lost in all of this whole, what he wants to do is that he has abused Miss Sullivan. No, he not. has hit her. No, no, no. Okay. He has hit her. Okay. That is, that is your client's position. That is not my client's position. And okay. no, we didn't have a full hearing on that. So. Uh, yeah, I believe that we did, but we in any event, in any event, at this point in time, we're talking about, she is a vic victim of domestic violence. And we all know that the abusers usually deny. Okay. And just because he said it didn't happen does not mean it didn't happen. My just concern, is about, happened, okay, my concern happen. is about her safety. <laughs> well, there you have it. Abusers usually deny. So if, if someone makes an accusation against you and you deny it, then you're guilty. If you don't deny it, then you're guilty. You see, you see how this works? So what I want to know is how many days I need to put him in jail since he can't seem to listen to a court, a judge. Or maybe I just need to get a realtor in here to tell him what to do and what not to do. And maybe then he'll listen. Put him in jail and get a realtor. He'll listen. Judge, my client is currently paying all of these parties' bills, and they are already in massive debt. I would plead that he not be put in jail and miss out on work and potentially get fired. He has a oh, government yeah. coming in. He has money. He has, he oh, yeah. has stuff of income coming in um, that is not uh, uh, attributed to we're in bank. We're in bankruptcy. It's not like that. I did that to help us. You and, and you and you're lying about why you did the bankruptcy. You did the bankruptcy to save the house. We, and we, now you're saying that I'm you're not going to let, go let him talk, Miss Bristow. I want to hear your best argument why he don't need to turn his self, Mister Mister Sullivan. Your Honor, I didn't mean. I'm going to put you on mute one more time until somebody asks you a question. Stop unmuting yep. yourself, Miss Bristow. Judge. I I sincerely apologize for my client's actions. You know, this was all done prior to the hearing on Friday. I know that he's not, 
He's not a stupid man. He understands orders. Unfortunately, it was his impression that because she had completely moved out of the residence, including washer, dryer, bedroom furniture, freezer, tables, everything else, it was his understanding that the order was to prevent him from being anywhere near Miss Sullivan, but that it would not be a problem if he showed up to the residence with police officers, with the realtor, and had the locks changed. As soon as he let me know on Friday, that is that is on me. I should have immediately let the court know or opposing counsel know at that time. I did not, and that's on me. And I, I plead that my client not be put in jail because of that. This was all done before the hearing on Friday. You made it very clear to him that even if she doesn't live in the home, he cannot go. You made that very clear to him on Friday, and he understood that on Friday, which is why he immediately walked into my office and explained that the locks had been changed and that we need to provide the keys to Miss Sullivan. I should have handled that on Friday. I did not, and that is why it blew up. He is currently paying all of these clients' bills. This house will go in foreclosure if he loses his job. Miss Sullivan's car currently owes $22,000 on it, and they will come and pick up her car and take it away from her if he can't continue helping paying these parties' bills. I plead that he not be put in jail. He cannot lose his job, and he cannot stop paying these payments. Your Honor, he hasn't been, he, 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 he is not paying all of the bills. That is a, a fallacy and an untruth that he's been. I'm sorry, he pays the mortgage. <laughs> he just started paying the mortgage. He, 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 he just started paying that. He only pays a portion of that. And he and and the, what she's taking, Your Honor, these are photos. This is what the house looked like that he put on it. And how does she take everything? How does she take everything? How does she move out? This is the kitchen, the living room. I mean, these are the photos. And then what happened was he locked the door, changed the locks because he moved back in. Here's the kitchen. He, he took, she took the freezer. Is that what she took? No, he took, she took the deep freezer. Okay. It probably, okay. Anyway, here's the, those are the photos. These are the photos um, that uh, he's moved back into the residence. Yeah, so he not moved back into the rest. That, that's his that's his clothing. He came in there taking showers and left a bunch of clothes. The bed is um slept in that bed because she had everything. Very taking showers in the shower, sleeping in the bed. Yeah, yeah. Living there. Very well kept before she left to a safe place. And you can when we returned, we saw all his clothing just all over the place. Just didn't care. Didn't even care about the order. Just came in there to the showers. Why did the realtor take the pictures if she had moved out? It looks like there's furniture in there. That looks like his stuff. Yes. Mr. Sullivan, do you know when the realtor... wears, you know, a big old t-shirt like that and those shorts and... <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, do you know when the realtor took these photos? And is there a photo of the bedroom that you two sleep in? You're on mute. First of all, uh, can y'all hear me? Okay. I mean, those clothes could I wasn't in there. You all were in there. First of all, I'm not sleeping there. The day that and now you asked me something about the realtor. Uh, I want to know when the pictures were taken. It was it was in April uh, uh, after, after she after she moved out. That doesn't look like anybody's moved out. There's a bed there. There's your nasty well, sock. That, that's, no, no that, this is stuff that probably was put put there. Oh, okay. Because I do have clothes there. That bed. That <laughs> your nasty sock. <laughs> it's too good. That's my daughter's bedroom. That's my daughter's bed. Is that's the master is is yours and Miss Sullivan's bedroom part of these photos? No, because the bed. All that yes, stuff is are. gone. I'll, no, it's not. You don't live there. We do. All that stuff is gone. All that stuff is gone. This, this is inside. Is there a photo of the bedroom where your bedroom suit is no longer there, Mr. Sullivan? Because I know that this is a several bedroom. This is weird, too. I mean, whatever. It's a finer point, but I don't know why she's testifying. Like, she can't be a witness in her client's case.
just whatever. I, I know it's chaos, but but she can't be in there vouching for the facts. Then she's a witness. Then she can't be the, be an attorney. Room home. So are these the guest rooms that we're looking at, or is there a picture of the master bedroom where the furniture has been taken, or is there a picture of the washer and dryer no longer no longer being there? You're on mute. Unless they plant, they planted stuff there. I'm not there. I have clothes there. I have underwear there. I have socks there. I have no. clothes there. If you saw, you showed a picture of the closet with only my clothes in there. And Mr. Not, Sullivan, not Mr. Sullivan. Yes, ma'am. Were there not any photos taken of the master bedroom where there's it no was, furniture? It was, fo- it was complete photos of the entire house. Yes, there is a photo. Yes, he's there. He's lying about it. He violated the court order, and all of that's wrong. And and he's and he's got problems from it. But you do have to see the context. He is excluded from his home on a trumped up uh, domestic violence charge. That's what's going on. And he can't go to his own home. And he's like not rich. They're on the verge of bankruptcy, and he can't go to his own home that he's paying for. So I understand his frustration. I have it in this phone, in my phone, but I can't show it in Zoom at the same time. It's, it's on, if you, you can go to the website right now and pull up the house on, on a red fan or Google, just type in the address and it will show the complete showing of the house, not some doctored up pictures that these people manipulated and planted. The only intent was to sell the property. We planted the change lots too. Sorry, pardon me? We got Attorney King just being all inappropriate with her facial expressions. <laughs> It just this this hearing is the gift that keeps giving. We planted the garage doors too with reprogramming. I, I don't know what right? you did. I don't know yeah, what, I know. what you did. And, we, and you all don't live there. We've had issues in the past with the garage doors. Right, so Mr. Like Sullivan, it seems like you work Monday through Friday, right? Yes, ma'am. But time I you, don't. What time do you get off on Fridays? I have no idea, Your Honor. Because it, it goes by. It goes by uh, whenever I finish up uh, my route. Miss Bristow, just finish making your case. That's all I have, Judge. All right. Anything, uh, Miss Hood? Your Honor, I just ask that Mr. Sullivan be incarcerated. He has repeatedly violated this order. He has been advised by three judges to stay away from that property. And every time he makes an excuse in reference to why he's on the property when he is very clear that he should not be there. Um, This has been very stressful upon my client and has brought a lot of anxiety upon her as a result of him continually coming onto that property. It's stressful on both of us. She had to leave because he kept coming on there violating the order when she repeatedly would advise law enforcement and other officials that he was not supposed to be here, that his one time was on April 4th, and he continues to come on to this property. Something needs to be done. And I am afraid that something may happen to my client, given the fact that Mr. Sullivan does not want to listen to anybody. And I'm also asking the court that he pay attorney fees because he's taking time for Ms. Sullivan to continue to have attorneys to appear on her behalf, to continue to prosecute or go before this court because of his many violations, Your Honor. And I'm asking that he pays $3,200 for attorney fees. Ms. Bristow? Judge, I would object to any sort of attorney fee award today. I haven't seen any sort of bills. They didn't ask for attorney's fees at the last hearing. It wouldn't be $3,200 to show up for today's hearing for an hour. So I would object to any of that. Your Honor, I put many hours. I had to come onto the property on Saturday when he violated it. Um, We went out communicating back and forth. I've been practicing for 28 plus years. My hourly rate is $400 an hour. And $3,200 is the fee that... um, one would have to pay for my representation. 
Again, I haven't seen any sort of I'll be billing. Glad you said it I don't know to why an attorney would need to go to residence at four hundred dollars an hour on a Friday when the cops can simply be called. It's an emergency. Object to all of that. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, Mr. Sullivan, if I were you, I'd cross my fingers that they don't revoke your bond. I'd cross them hard. You turn yourself in to the Fulton County Jail. Seven p.m. tonight. We'll let you out Monday at seven p.m. I'd put you in there for twenty days, but uh, once somebody sees you in jail, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. Once they see you in jail, they're probably gonna they, somebody may revoke your bond. But tonight at seven p.m. that gives you time to finish up work, call in sick, take vacation, whatever you got to do till Monday. At 7 p.m. Absolutely no reason for you that address to come out of your mouth, for you to go over there, for you to think about that house, for you to send somebody over there to that house. I'm not sure what I need to say to make it clear. You do not go over to that house. And if I'd have been the judge in there in that case, I'd have made you stay out in the city of Fairburn and put an ankle monitor on you. Because this is a case that calls for an ankle monitor. And trust me, the budget in Fulton County for ankle monitors has went up over $80,000 because I have slapped 600 ankle monitors on individuals. And the ones that don't live in Fulton got to stay out of Fulton County. And I violate oh, their no. bond conditions if they run out of gas on 285 because I don't want them on the connector. <sighs> Or Chick Fil A. Can I, can I ask no, you anymore? can turn yourself in at 7 p.m. at Rice Street. Miss Free is going to do that order, that arrest, contempt arrest order, and she's going to send it to you. 7 p.m. Are you going to be able to get there? I, I have to leave work. Uh, I won't because uh, I won't finish my route in time. So I'll. Uh, well, what time are you going to finish your route? I have no idea. It's up to the. It's up to the volume. What does that mean? You obviously have got your truck already and you're driving, so what yeah. do you got in there? No, no, I'm, I'm still on the yard. I haven't even left the building yet. So well, I guess you can say, you know, supervisor, you better make my route short. I need to, I feel sick. I got to take a sick day. Whatever you got to do. Your Honor, he can um, call. He uh, The other day when he was on his way over to the house, when he thought that uh, she, when he claimed she was moving, he turned his truck in and he got off early and he went over there. I think he basic. I think she made false allegations against him, which he ultimately prevails on. But in the interim, he violates a court order, and the judge has no uh, no choice but to do what she just did here. The way I see it, I, th I think it, it makes sense. That doesn't mean you get to make up your own uh, court procedures uh, along the way. If you want, to, if you, if you, want to, you can get there. So, seven p.m. Make that happen. Uh, Miss Free's gonna uh, get it, sign it, send it to me. I'm gonna sign it, and we are going to uh, expect you there at 7 p.m. They'll let you out Monday at 7 p.m. Best of luck to you, sir. Thank you. Well, there you have it. People sent that to me because whatever it just it just surfaced. I, I didn't do these out of order. Like I said, there's a playlist, but I do not have it in chronological order. There are four, there are four videos and uh, another video, which is just an interview with Lily. It's all good. They're all interesting. I, I, I'm not crazy. I would have done it in chronological order, but that's not the way they came to me. That's just the way it is. Plus, I, did, I didn't know there were all these videos when I started this. It all started with one hearing that I thought was interesting because the attorneys were out of control. The, the attorneys uh, were not as out of control in this hearing, but they get there. But trust me, if you see the other videos, they definitely get there. I put, I put a link to that playlist in the description if anybody's interested. But, but they can all be watched just individually because they're all deliciously awful, every, every last one of them. Oh, there we go.
Thank you all for coming out. Just a quick one on Saturday. I'll see you all soon.